In this video, I'm going to show you how to rectify what appears to be a design defect in the Whirlpool AP588 air cleaner. Now, the unit looks pretty good. When we open up the front case, we'll see the air cleaner, or the front cover will see the air cleaner and the pre-filter screen. However, the way the pre-filter is shaped, uh, it gets stressed in a way where corners of it pull up. So, for example, if I push this part down, one of the other corners will lift up, letting air get sucked in, not going through the pre-filter. Not going through the pre-filter by itself is not a showstopper. However, uh, after extended use, uh, you'll can, you can still see that um, unfiltered air bypasses the HEPA filter. So this means some unclean, you know, some air is bypassing the filter. Uh, who knows how much it actually is. Um, furthermore, the way the filter is placed in the device, <clears throat> uh, when you see, when you have the filter, when you have the air cleaner standing up vertically, it will naturally tip out a little bit and leave a larger gap. Right here where the finger holds are, so you can pull the filter out, uh, a lot of air gets sucked in through there. So, but what I did was, I used some very long zip ties <clears throat> and wrapped them around the top, both the top of the unit and the bottom of the unit here. Now you could, if you don't have one super long zip tie, you could, of course you could always just attach you know, several in sequence. <clears throat> there we go. And now this pushes the entire filter assembly, both the main HEPA filter and the pre-filter down into the casing. It's, there are still a few areas where it bulges out a little bit, but it certainly is better than nothing. Uh, if you wanted to, you probably could put you know, uh, a few nuts here to just get a little extra pressure downwards. Uh, however, just by taking this one step of putting these two bands around the top and the bottom of the filter, uh, it'll make a big difference. And you'll notice right away that it does not come out by itself anywhere near as easily at the two handhold areas. So if you have one of these units, I strongly suggest you take it apart and just add these two non-destructive repairs.